so tired. I've literally been decorating for hours. I am exhausted. Hey guys, I'm Jose and Hey guys, I'm Jose. Hey guys, I'm Jose. Hello, I'm Jose. And this is my channel. The theme today is Christmas, duh. I live in New York City and I live four blocks away from Central Park, the Plaza Hotel and Columbus Circle. I'm pretty much living in Home Alone 2 Square, so. As most people who live here, I'm a renter, so that pretty much limits my ability to renovate and do like really cool customizations to my house, but I think I did a pretty good job at finding some cool kind of DIYs and tricks to showcase my own personality and style, if I do say so myself. I feel like my style leans more vintage, organic, Modern, minimalist, neutral, touch of boho, touch of Paris, a little Leanne Ford, a little Mariah Carey. So I wanted to carry those vibes with my Christmas theme because I wanted to go more Scandinavian and earthy as opposed to like the traditional red, green, and glitter. I love red, green, and glitter, but for this year, I am creating the forest that I need to survive. This is a concrete jungle, darling. And I got some great holiday pieces from Studio McGee. They're an interior design firm with a huge social media following and I've been completely obsessed with. They also have a show on Netflix, which is amazing. The pieces I got worked really well. I can't wait to show you everything that I got. Also, I have a really cool giveaway. So please pay attention to the end of the video to see how you can enter to win some of these sold out pieces from Studio McGee. Let's go. So I knew I wanted to put my Christmas tree in this corner. So I had to decide if I wanted a tree skirt or a tree collar since it's a weird corner to be in with the layered rugs. So I was obsessed with this tree collar and tree skirt on the website as soon as I saw it and I couldn't decide which I preferred. So I got them both. And then I paired them together and I really liked the look, so I decided to go with that. I also got a new nine foot faux tree for Target as well. I love that it came pre-lit since I'm going for that more organic minimal vibe. It helps not to have to string all those lights and have it visible and let's be real, ain't nobody got time for that. And this is a little preview of my tree, but I have another video coming out and it's all about tree decorating and tree trimming, trimming your tree, trim, 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 trim trees. But let me show you some of the pieces that I got from the Studio McGee line that I could not wait to use on my tree. First, I got these stunning ornaments that are copper and rustic and will not only look good on the tree, but can be used as accent pieces as well. Here, I paired it with the beautiful bowl that's also from the Studio McGee line and really complements each other. You could also put them in this leather tray with some eucalyptus and pine cones like I did here. They also have these great woven ornaments that have that artisanal vibe I love with a neutral color tone. I think will pair really well with these mismatched chunky, chunk, chunky, chunk, chunk, chunky wooden garlands. I think I'm a DJ now. I also put my tree decor in this gorgeous leather basket that are also from the Studio McGee line that are quality. You could also use the baskets as a tree holder like I did with these mini Christmas trees to put in a little accent area around your home. Or if you have a smaller space and you can't have a tree, it's a chic way to display your tree on your counter space or next to couch. And I think a great way to change up your space without getting all new ornaments and all new pieces is switching up the artwork in your home that feature more of that holiday theme. I love a white on white framing. And it's a super easy DIY that you can do if you already have existing frames, just finding some photos with very minimal and wintry kind of vibes and putting it in the white on white framing. I love these golden frames with the hand-drawn wreath. 
So chic, so cool, love. Here I put the gold frame above my two chairs and added some greenery in the leather and glass base to really complement the gold of the frame. I also decided to use these washed black linen oversized pillows to really contrast the space since I used so much greenery. I feel it really brought the look together. For this piece, I wanted to switch up the display case I have to incorporate the holidays, so I switched the previous artwork, which was also Studio McGee, along with one of the trees from the line. Now on to one of my favorite, 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 favorite pieces. I switched out this beautiful Persian distressed rug. I love this. First of all, it's hand woven and it's certified fair trade. So I can walk on it and not feel guilty. <laughs> the great thing about these Studio McGee pieces is that they work year round. Like I feel like it's like a good basic white t-shirt. And have fun changing your layouts and your pillows and switching up little pieces around your home whenever you want. That's what's gonna give you that vibe that you feel like it's flowing and makes you feel good at home. Do whatever you want. It's your house. And if you live with someone else, um, just do whatever you want. It's your house. And I love what I did with this ladder. This ladder is from Magnolia and I just love how rustic it looks. I put it with this boucle throw. I also got these beautiful vintage skis and I just propped them up against the wall as if it was like a like sculpture and I think it works really well and it just covers up that space without having to put like a piece of artwork or anything that's like too distracting because I think the tree kind of speaks for itself. She's a work of art. She's a living thing. And I have the boxwood wreath right above the TV and I love what I did with this because the chain actually comes from the light fixture that I have in the living room and I didn't want it to be too low. So I kept the chain because I was like, this is kind of cute. It's like a brass chain that kind of looks aged and vintagey. I got these gorgeous, they're called a Fountain Valley Pandan wrapped side tables. Love these side tables. And I decided to use this white nativity set. That's for my Puerto Rican mom. If you have a Puerto Rican mom, you know, she always has a prayer candle. That is the equivalent of a prayer candle that's gonna ha be happening in my home decor. Love you, mom. So these are the pieces that I love. So for the giveaway, you guys made it this far. I am giving one lucky winner. Uh, <clears throat> so I am giving one lucky winner. One set of the 10 piece copper rustic organic ornaments. Beautiful, a set of the stockings, four stockings. You're gonna get the green, the blue, the red plaid one the neutral like burlap, sherlap, burlap. The golden frame hand-drawn wreath. I love this piece. <sighs> it's a pretty big deal. Pretty big deal. The Studi McGee infamous structural limestone knot. This piece was sold out and I tell you everyone wanted this piece. You're welcome. All you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, leave a comment down below, and then also do the same on my Instagram. It's listed here. Look how simple this is. Like, So thank you for subscribing. Um, click the link below, follow the rules, Wear a mask and be safe and happy holidays.